Materials Browser Dialog Box. Uh, the Material Browser Dialog Box is used to organize our materials. And we can group them together and we can edit them and we can create new materials, etc. To find these materials, we're going to go up to Manage tab. We're going to go over to our Settings panel. We're going to go to Materials. We click on the Materials button and we get essentially uh, at this point we get the materials browser dialog box and we can hit this more button or less button we hit the more button and let's take a look at the different areas we have first of all this is the project materials all these are all the materials that are either currently in use or have been installed in the uh, building model or but not in use okay they've been uh, they're in the file but they may not be in use or they're in use and if we take a look up here uh, we go up to the project materials we're gonna go into changes to our view and we can show all the materials or we can show all the materials in use uh, we can show all the unused materials okay um, and so we can show all in this case we can go and say I want a list view or I want a thumbnail view uh, so if you want to see a bigger image of what it looks like um, depending on how many you have I, I like list and thumbnails and we can go down and sort by name or by the material color I like to go by name and then the thumbnail size if I'm gonna go with the thumbnail size I like the bigger thumbnail size usually so I can see it but again if I have a lot of them I might want to go with a little smaller one so I might come down here if I have quite a few of them um, notice now uh, if we come down to and uh, we open our asset browser so we're going to click on this button down here and that's going to open our assets these are all the things we have uh, in our library. It's grouped in three basic areas. We have our favorites. I'll click on here and there's nothing in favorites. There's Autodesk physical assets. So these are the Autodesk um, materials which are you know so-so sometimes and we have the appearance library and uh, so we can go into any one of these and use any one of them. Um, but notice the lock on the physical assets and the appearance library. These cannot be uh, deleted. They cannot be edited. Uh, so they're locked down. We can put anything in favorites we want and do anything to what's ever in our favorites. So uh, we can do that, not a problem. Uh, likewise, uh, let's come down here and go to uh, we can create brand new material or we can duplicate I highly recommend duplicating a selected material so if I want to take a, a certain type of uh, a wood I take a close uh, type of wood I I duplicate it and then I make changes to make a slightly different types of wood making things from scratch is very difficult actually and we can open up an existing library if we know the path to our library or we can create a new library and we can share libraries between things like AutoCAD and 3ds Max and share one library if we want and we also have the, the tabs over here for the graphics and for the appearance uh, and the identity of the objects that all track each particular um, object. So I can come in here and say, ah, oh, I want to track these cabinets, or I want to track, uh, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, I'll come down here and say, I want to go with some masonry blocks. So I can track all this information. I can track the graphics. I can track the appearance uh, and where all this stuff is from and what all the settings are. So this is broken down into different categories or different areas the project materials all the projects that are either being used or in the drawing uh, we have the physical assets uh, the asset browser by clicking over here uh, and then we have we can break it down into each kind uh, of you know all our bricks etc uh, and 
We also have over here we have our tabs for identity, graphics, and appearance. We can show this information any way we want. Um, we can click on this button in here and have our asset browser shown down here if we like or separately. Uh, and uh, we can create new materials down here or duplicate materials. So this whole material browser is broken into different subset areas.